Hey Virgo, welcome to your reading for the first week of June. I am running behind this week. I had a lot of family things over the weekend and I meant to get these out then, but it was just one thing after another, you know? A lot of people moving right now. It's kind of blowing my mind, at least over in my neck of the woods. Helping people move. A lot of changes. I think a lot of people made decisions last month in May to make a big change in their life because May was a double five month and in June it looks like they're carrying these changes out. <clears throat> Thank you for being here, by the way, Virgo, if you are new to the channel. Uh, you have the Blessed card. You have Change in the Wind. What was I just saying about change? And you have Message in a Bottle. So, something good is coming in. Something is manifesting here um, that you do not see coming. That's what that card means. The universe has swooped in and said... We are helping you do this, but it is something that you've been focusing on. So hopefully those are good things. And yes, there is a change in the wind. Something is changing that you cannot see that is not visible to you yet. And pay attention to the messages that you're getting, whether those are numbers, if you're a, like an angel uh, number type person, uh, things you see, words you see, um, or you may be getting a message from a person here. If you are a very intuitive person, Virgo, listen to the messages from your higher self. You're going to hear my dog, Buttercup. She snores. That's her in the background, making those little soft, me uh, not messages, soft little snores. Sometimes she's much louder. She can snore louder than a lot of humans can, I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's get to your reading, Taurus. By the way, I don't read reversals, just so you know. Sometimes I'll read the protection message on the Oracle cards if I feel like that's what is intended. It's totally intuitive. I read intuitively. It's just something I know or do automatically. It's not something I debate. That's the way I've always been. It's just whatever I automatically do is the thing that's um, intended. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, working very hard, feeling very committed Two of Cups, making a choice about something. King of Wands and King of Cups. Wow, so I feel like you've been very, very committed to something here, Virgo, like committed to your success. These are overall general sort of readings, so this could apply to any area of your life. Um, needing to make a decision about something here with the Two of Cups, um, that you could be meeting someone that has like a soulmate type energy here, but this could also be you um, coming more into alignment with your purpose, like with your soul. Is your soul your mate, right? Um, and this is an aside, but I feel like a lot of people want love, but they want love or they want to be with someone because they're uncomfortable being by themselves. And I feel like if everyone um, would take the time to get to know themselves, um, then we would have much happier relationships, right? Because we, if we manifest a partner... Um, because we want our partner to make us feel loved or more secure or less lonely, then that creates a codependent relationship. Um, but anyway, that's an aside, Virgo. I just um, 
feel like you are examining your purpose here very closely and you've been very committed to this energy. And I want to say manifesting because uh, these are these look like twins in this card, like twin souls, right? But they're twins. And the universe is, so a mirror image almost of each other. And the universe is a mirror as well, right? So manifesting something. And I feel like it's move is starting to happen here. You've got this king of wands energy that's coming in very passionately. This could also be a person coming in very, very passionately that um, makes you feel very uh, grounded, very loved, very um, stable, emotionally stable here. So let's get some clarity on this. Let's get some clarity. Clarity for Taurus on this Eight of Pentacles, please. What is Queen of Pentacles? Yes, your work. Yes, more stability, more financial success, right? The, the Empress. Wow. This is uh, success in all forms. This is total abundance right here. You are committed to a better, more abundant, more stable life here. And yeah, temperance. Isn't that interesting? Because temperance is balancing two things. She's turning one thing into something else. So that's two. Let's see, she's balancing here. Uh... Uh, spirit and wisdom together. Um, this is also uh, patience. So you have been uh, weighing this, I want to say, for a very long time. You've been working on this. Ace of Cups, brand new beginning. This could be the beginning of a love project, or it could be the beginning of a new love. A person or something that you love very much, um, it is, that's going to create a lot of success for you, Logo. Something you're very passionate about. Oh, and then you've got another King of Wands. Two King of Wands here. King of Wands, King of Wands. Uh, this could be someone that's coming in very, very, very passionate that sees you as the ultimate love, okay, because of this soulmate stuff here. I feel like this is saying you're being cautious about something. Um, but I do feel like this is maybe, this could be a relationship that you've been uh, working toward having for a long time and you trying to make a very balanced um, decision like do you want love do you not want love do you want love but someone is very committed to you right here and so I feel like this if it's a relationship, it could bring you a lot of happiness here, Virgo. Same thing for success, though. It's the same, same as true for both situations. So whatever applies to you in your situation. Yeah, strategy. I'm trying to figure out the best strategy here for a while. Fears coming up, the moon, illusions. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you have someone or you are very committed to a business idea or a person that sees you as you know, the ultimate person, but I feel like there's fear here too. Or that person is 
afraid of commitment. Hmm, interesting. You may be afraid of commitment, Virgo. Any more for Virgo? Thank you. Yep, you are weighing your up. You are really, really, really weighing this. You are going in, going within, and trying to balance, make a uh, balanced decision, you know, trying to figure out what you want. This is a lot of introspection. This may be a pause and saying, hey, wait a minute, okay? Like, this may have been happening too fast over here, okay? Yeah, that's you taking a little bit of time out and saying, whoa, hang on here for a minute. Let's rethink this. It's Mercury retrograde. What do we do in a retrograde? We reconsider things. We rethink things. We play things out in our mind. Maybe we want to go a slightly different direction or um, people can come back from our past as well. Knight of Swords, this is very quick moving energy. Um, yeah, I feel like once you get clarity on whatever, after you come out of this period of the introspection, I feel like things are going to move very, very, very quickly. Once you make the decision, things are going to start moving fast. There you go. What did I say? Once you make this choice here, this decision, not of swords, then you go straight after it. Or this person is going to come straight after you, and that is you saying either something is ending this period of time perhaps or something new is beginning you've really been weighing this out here <clears throat> and i feel like you are going to make some kind of decision here but it may be again i'm saying for everybody as the energy starts moving further everybody's getting this kind of energy this week like where everybody feels freaking stuck or is reconsidering. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes that's the best thing that you can do for yourself, Virgo, is reconsider something um, that you've been doing or something that you've been trying to figure out here, actually, for a long time. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you are, you are moving towards your future here. This is all about you making the smartest decision for you, Virgo. And I mean, come on, Virgo. You can be a little bit of a perfectionist anyway, right? So, but I feel like you are going to make a quick decision here uh, at some point over the next few weeks. Let's see what we got here. Yep. And whatever it is, it's going to bring you a lot of success, okay? That's what's coming up for you. A lot of success. There we go. This gives you a... So, it's just what I told Taurus. Don't beat yourself up for reconsidering something. A lot of the readings are very, very similar. And uh, it's, it's entirely appropriate is what I want to say. So, don't sit there and go, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know why I'm confused. I don't know why I feel this way. Whatever it is, it is entirely appropriate for you to do this. First breath, beginner's mind. Beginner's mind, first breath. Let's see what this is all about. It's a shaman's dream oracle, just in case. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious, but I just want to read you some of this. Practice the beginner's mind, not labeling or naming what you see and experience. That situation that was so difficult only a few days ago, just be with it and breathe. You've already gone beyond it, have overcome and resolved it, even if no one else realizes this yet. Soon enough, they will as you move on. 
Do not squander the power of first breath, giving the old narrative mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Use it for new beginnings. Use it for new beginnings to animate a world you can play and create in. Do not underestimate the power of your breath and the magic of the word. All right, so it's saying don't squander this energy, but get clarity. Because you've got two King of Wands there, and they can be a little hot-headed, right? So... Energetic support for Taurus, please. Energetic support for Taurus. I mean, Virgo. Sorry, Virgo. I just did Taurus and sometimes I just don't mean to, okay? Sometimes I, I'll say the wrong sign and I don't even catch it. So at least I'm catching it, all right? <laughs> Guidance, support, love, signs, and direction. Yeah, look for the signs. Remember, message in a bottle. Look for the signs that you're getting from the universe, from your environment. If you see a word uh, everywhere you go, if you're driving around, like I tell you, I think it was like 2001 or something, I started seeing the word Phoenix all the time. Phoenix, 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 Phoenix. People would come into, I was back in the corporate world back then, People would come into my office and say the word Phoenix or talk about Phoenix. And I thought that meant, meant Phoenix, like Phoenix, Arizona. But, I mean, I'm a Scorpio, so it could also mean the Phoenix rising from the ashes. But actually, I did end up moving somewhere completely different from Phoenix um, about eight or nine years later. And I was talking with someone in the area one day, and they said, yeah, uh, uh, this is this place. They call it the Eye of the Phoenix. There you go. So, you're getting messages all the time, so just pay attention to those messages. And when you get the clarity, take the quick action because this is an opportunity for you to manifest something. So I think this is a great reading here, Virgo. Um, so don't beat yourself up. That's the main message I feel like because your milk and honey is on its way to you. If this video resonated with you, I need to scoot the camera over, don't I? Please give the video a like and consider subscribing since I'm building my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you for being here, Virgo, and I will see you soon.